Hello everyone, we're back. So, tiny bit of an update. We have managed to find all four almanac pages nearby. So I have spent a bit of time, um, well, going around the outskirts first just to make sure if memory serves. Um, generally, I found the ones I was looking for. The first one we find that's near the Dragon Tavern, which is this one. The next one I found that was quite close to where Beacon Hill is, which is here, somewhere amongst this lot. The next one uh, found was along here, and the fourth one was in this section here. So naturally, I'm going to want to go and speak to Benjamin Franklin about his almanac pages. Unless he's not in the charitable mood, of course. And I have gained a bit of money. Uh, a couple times I had tackled some of the couriers. Yep, they are still a thing in this game. Um, and obviously they do run on sight the moment they see your character. So a quick tackle to the ground is one thing. But I managed to get a majority of my funds from um, some dead redcoats. Yes, I did kill some of the redcoats and I can't help myself since killing is um, a factor. I'm not going to be interested in him because he's nowhere near where I'm going. That's fine. Excuse me, coming through. I need, to, I must speak with Benjamin. And um, I did actually have a conversation with Mr. Franklin about other things, but I wasn't recording at the time. Mr. Franklin, I believe I have something you'd like. You, you, you did it. You found the missing pages. Incredible. Thank you for the kind words, but it was nothing, really. Nothing? It, it was impossible. They were gone, scattered. And yet here they are, reunited. Here, take this. Least I can do. You are a miracle worker. I shall sing your praises forever. Much as I'd love to chat, I have some reading to do at present. I hope you understand. 500 pounds. Not bad. Right, um... I'm not going to leave the Animus just yet. Uh, let's see. Not notifications. Database. Recent entries. So... Grenadiers... And this is the almanac. So this is what happens when you collect all the pages. Um, yeah. And then we've got a load of other bits and pieces as well. So if we went from people to individuals, uh, Charles Lee, um, he was a British soldier. Um, uh, yeah, Lee returns to England in 1760, possibly because he's seeking a career advisement. He was named major in 1761. He was sent to fight in the Spanish, Spanish Portugal. Though his service record there was good, uh, Lee didn't receive praise on his return home. In fact, he was retired from the army at half pay. After that, Lee became a vocal critic of the military higher ups and the British Prime Minister. And found that his military career had inexpensively completely stalled. Hmm. Mr. Benjamin Franklin. Lewis Miles. British regulars. Can't 
can't believe I'm going through database here when I should be going through stories, but hey, events are other are more important as well. Beggar's Opera. Locations. Uh, that's a lot of stuff. You know what? I won't go through all that. Alright, we should get to Charles. Find out what's going on. We can still go back to Franklin as well, so I don't know if there are other Almax pages that I can come across. Sorry, Charles, to keep you waiting. Been busy. You lying, cheating, no good son of a bitch. Perhaps we've come at a bad time. Oh, don't be foolish, dearies. Please, sit. Fancy something to eat? A drink, perhaps? Or is it a bed you require? We've already let rooms here. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> Of course, Masters Lee and Kenway, uh, was it? Uh, I'll have your bags brought up. Uh. Do you require anything further? Only privacy. Hmm. This way. I'm going to guess this is our man. Sir, William Johnson. A pleasure. A good lad, if a bit earnest. I'm told you're putting together an expedition. We believe there's a precursor site in the region. I require your knowledge of the land and its people to find it. Sadly, my research has been stolen. Without it, I'm of no use to you. Then we'll find it. Do you have any leads? My associate, Thomas Hickey, has been making the rounds. He's quite good at loosening tongues. Well, tell me where I can find him. I'll see if I can't speed things up. We've heard rumors of bandits operating from a compound southwest of here. You'll likely find him there. Charles? Sir. We'd best be off. Of course. Okay, we are to find Thomas Hickey. Thomas Hickey? Who's asking? Haytham Kenway. Is that supposed to mean something? Show some respect, boy. Peace, Charles. William Johnson sent us in the hopes we might expedite your search. I don't need no expediting. I don't need none of your fancy London speak, neither. I found the men that done the theft. Then why are you just lazing around? Figuring out how to deal with those varlets. I have an idea. Well, let's hear it. I'll kill the lookout, take up a position behind the guards. Uh, you two approach from the front. When I open fire on the group, you charge in. We'll have the element of surprise on our side. Half or four before they've even realized what's happened. Position. But wait for me to take the first shot. Go on now. For 
you make us mad. Go on now, before you make us mad. inside what now we can blow the door with those go on shoot them <laughs> on with your show then guess they wasn't so safe inside after all Lay down your weapons, and I'll consider letting you live. I make you the same offer. We've no quarrel. I only wish to return this chest to its rightful owner. Nothing rightful about Mr. Johnson. I won't ask again. Agreed. Your kind has no need for books and maps. Who put you up to this? Never seen a person. It's always been dead drops and letters. But they always pay, so we do the jobs. Well, those days are done. Tell your masters I said as much. <laughs> Who should I say you are? You don't. They'll know. Atham, this one's got some shot on him. You might want to be grabbing it on account of your pistol being parched. Back to the Green Dragon, then. I need a drink. Careful, gents. We've company. Don't let go of the chest, Charles. We'll take care of it. sure to have loot on them would be a shame to let it all go to waste are you mad in case you've forgotten we're in the midst of something oh why is you always got to go and spoil the spore <laughs> oh, poor hickey oh we're going this way
a few fools with knives. They ain't so tough. It's not the scoundrels I'm concerned with. He's worried about everyone else. Mr. Johnson's gonna need to double my pay after all this if he expects me to keep at his side. Don't you worry, Hickey. You'll be well looked after. There you are. My thanks, Master Kenway. No. Tell me what it is you'll need. The images on this amulet, are they familiar to you? Perhaps one of the tribes has shown you something similar. It appears Kanyan Gahaga in origin. Can you trace it to a specific location? I need to know where it came from. With my research returned, perhaps. Let me see what I can do. Thomas! What? Rent yourself a room. And a bath as well. I suspect we'll be here for a while. Well, another little errand done. So, let's have a talk with Johnson. about yourself, William. What's to tell? I was born in Ireland to Catholic parents, which I learnt early in life severely limited my opportunities. So I converted to Protestantism and journeyed here at the behest of my uncle. But I fear my uncle Peter was not the swiftest of men. He sought to open trade with the Kanyan Gahaga, but chose to build his settlement away from the trade routes instead of on them. I tried to reason with the man, but... <sighs> as I said... Not the swiftest. So, I took what little money I'd earned and bought my own little plot of land. I built a home, a farm, a store, and a mill. Humble beginnings, but well situated, which made all the difference. So this is how you came to know the Mohawk? Indeed, and it has proved a valuable relationship. But still no mention from your contacts of the precursor site? No hidden temple or ancient constructs? Yes and no, which is to say, they have their fair share of sacred sites. Earthen moons, forest clearings, hidden caves. But nothing matching what you describe. No strange metals. No odd glows. Hmm. It is well hidden. Even to them, it seems. But cheer up, my friend. You'll have your precursor treasure. I swear it. To our success, then. And soon. Should not be much longer. Mm. Come on, Hickey. Tell us a story, if you have one. Any news? Whispers of things. Nothing solid at the moment. I know you're looking for word of anything out of the ordinary. Dealing with temples and spirits and ancient times and whatnot. But, so far, can't say my boys have heard much. No trinkets or artifacts being moved through your shadow market? Nothing new. Couple of ill-gotten weapons, some jewellery likely lifted from a living thing. But you said to listen for talk of glows and ums and strange sights, right? 
And I ain't heard nothing about that. Keep at it. Oh, I will. You done me a great service, mister. And I fully intend to repay my debt. Thricefold, if it pleases. Thank you, Thomas. Place to sleep and meal to eat is thanks enough. Don't you worry. I'll get you sorted soon. So. When it comes down to it, Hickey is the finder and the fixer. And, uh... William Johnson is a researcher. Two very decent individuals. Charles is, well, an apprentice, an understudy. He's keen to learn. And the Green Dragon Tavern is, well, a tavern. We could play some board games here, win some cash fairly. But I think we should continue on with our story and to see where things go. I have to say it's a nice thing to come back to AC3. So, Charles. Where do we go next? Evening, gentlemen. Ooh. Charming. Oh, peace, Charles. He'll grow on you. Oi! Catherine, you fussock! Get back here! Taddy needs a drink! How fares the search? Maths and maps are not cutting it. What of your local contacts? We'll need to earn their trust before they'll share what they know. <sighs> oh, I have an idea on how we might be affecting that. There's a man who's taken to enslaving natives. Rescue him. And they allow us. Do you know where they're being held? Afraid not. Benjamin Church will. He's a finder and a fixer. Oh no. He's also on your list. And there I was wondering whom I might solicit next. Benjamin well, Church no. is the finder and fixer. Hickey's just um black market guy. My bad. Ah, well. Oh, hold on. Well, Charles is now sitting down at the table. We should talk to him. Do you like it here, Charles? There's a certain charm to Boston, I suppose. To all of the colonies, really. Granted, their cities have none of London's sophistication or splendor, but the people are earnest and hardworking. They've a pioneer spirit I find compelling. It's quite something, really, watching a place that's finally found its feet. Has it, though? The French still wage war from up north. And I fear the Spanish have designs upon this place as well. Is this a new world? Or just another battlefield? Ah, that's a story old as time itself. And one that's not like to change. We're cruel and desperate creatures, set in our conquering ways. Hmm. The Saxons and the Franks. The Ottomans and Safavids. I could go on for hours. The whole of human history is but a series of conflicts and subjugations. A desire for more and more and more. I pray one day we rise above it. Whilst you pray, I'll act. We'll see who finds success first, hmm? It was an expression. Aye, and a dangerous one. Words have power. Wield them wisely. And that's something which is truthful. Words do have power. Although... What comes with that power is conviction. So it's all fine saying that you're going to say something, but you have to be able to act. So, we're going to find Mr. Benjamin Church, the surgeon. He's a doctor. Wonderful. <clears throat> nice one, Charles. Charles? Sir? <sighs> I 
A bit rude, but nonetheless, we shall investigate. Seems like we're not the only ones looking for Mr. Church. Damn it, he could be anywhere. What do we do? We find him. Come. I'll show you how. Business to meddle, even if we've the best of intentions. Columns barriers of Needle Street is the place to go. But if you could have seen it, they were surely drunk carrying on like that, and during the day, no less. Oh. You have but one new and miraculous ointment to turn to Montgomery's pure pipe and extract. Scandalous behavior from one who aims to be a surgeon. Not likely if he keeps up such harassing. Truly a shameful display. Benjamin's parents would be mortified. Perhaps I should send someone to retrieve him before he damages his reputation beyond repair. They stumbled off to the northeast, no doubt in search of a tavern or some other place of ill repute. Start questioning those on the street. I'm headed for higher ground. And this probably makes synchronizations unique since characters will stand to view the synchronization points depending where they are. Time to take a listen. With luck, one of those people knows what became of Benjamin. So, these are all the viewpoints that are all over the map. So currently, while they're not synchronized just yet, the birds look like as if they are, well, resting. But how they look when they are completed, open. Alright. I've asked the criers, but they all plead ignorance. Bugger that! They're lying! Aye. Well, what can I do? Threats light off them, and I'll not deign to grovel. Actions speak louder than words, my friend. Arrest one and put him in stocks. See if he's so glib then. To do so without cause will set them singing songs about us. Last thing the city needs is town criers complaining about our abuse of authority. Then forget it. The crime is done. The killer's gone. Those who know won't share their secrets. If the city wishes to harbor scoundrels, let them pay the price for it. Okay.
There we go, got a group of moving soldiers. But one way or another, the debt would be settled. I don't envy the man. He's green times ahead. Well, what do you think they're planning? All I know is it can't be good. Probably looking for a nice, quiet place to do the deed. From what I hear tell, his work usually involves quite a bit of screaming. Which reminds me, we'd best not buy any meat tomorrow. <laughs> good call, that. They waved me away. Insisted it was all under control. How far? Did they say what had happened? No. Only that it was a trifling matter, and he'd be returned home soon. There was some blood, though. So I wonder if it wasn't more serious than they let on. Where were they taking him? Oh. Towards the hilltop. Perhaps there's a doctor at the fort. Okay. Give us a um, moment. See, Charles, we'll have church in no time, just as I said we would. If I might ask, sir, where did you learn to do all this? It is a requirement when you're raised in the manner that I was. Perception is fundamental to the order. It guides the feet when running and climbing, informs the hands when striking and fighting. But most important, it transforms the senses. And we begin to know the world in a different way. Careful. The place is well guarded. We need to slip past them. Got to remain undetected. I'll have to find the key. Wait here. Oh, bollocks. Bastard, no. Mm. Punch me in the face, please. That's just bullshit.
Hey. Here we are then. Why must you always make these things so difficult, Benjamin? Merely provide me with recompense, and all shall be forgiven. I'll not pay for protection I don't need. Clearly, you do require protection. Else we wouldn't be here. How very good. Now, what shall we do about our guest? Maybe. I'll take his hands. Put an end to his surgery. Maybe. I'll take his tongue. Put an end to his waggling. Or maybe... I'll take his cock. Put an end to his fucking us. So many options. I can't possibly decide. Take all three. No! Hold a moment! Perhaps I was... Hasty in refusing you earlier. I'm so very sorry, Benjamin. But that door has closed. Be reasonable, Silas! I rather think I was. But you took advantage of my oh. generosity. I won't be made a fool a second time. <sighs> I fear I lack the constitution to bear witness to such barbarism. Come find me when you're finished, Cutter. You'll regret this, Silas! Do you hear me? I'll have your head! No. I rather think you won't. It's still a minute. I gotta decide where to start. Just a quick little swipe and no more ears. How's that sound, Mr. Church? Your parents must be so very proud. To have raised a specimen like yourself. <laughs> who... Who are you? Haytham Kenway, at your service. I... I don't understand. Why are you here? Uh, walk with me, Mr. Church, and all will be explained. And we now have the surgeon. I'm going to have to stop the video here, ladies and gentlemen. For I've got other things that I need to do. And when we're back, next, we will be going into the Green Dragon Tavern. Ouch.